welcome. This is Louis Gans III, and this is the uh, my recipe chronicle. The purpose of this is to sort of travel and explore food through reviewing recipes, published recipes out of cookbooks. And today we're going to be reviewing a recipe that I ran across while looking for a homemade recipe for cornbread. Cornbread is a very common and well-known recipe all across the South and all over America. Uh, and so uh, we're going to just have a good time exploring this recipe, talk a little bit about the author, and uh, just have a good time. I'll talk a little bit about the history of cornbread. Um, I'm going to use the uh, cornbread article in Wikipedia. Cornbread is a quick bread made with cornmeal associated with the cuisine of the southern United States with origins in Native American cuisine. Dumplings and pancakes made with finely ground cornmeal were staple foods of the Hopi people in Arizona. The Hidatsa people of the upper Midwest called baked cornbread Nazi. Cherokee and Seneca tribes enriched the basic batter adding chestnuts, sunflower seeds, apples or berries, and sometimes combining beans or potatoes with the cornmeal. Modern versions of cornbread are usually leavened by baking powder. For a homemade recipe for cornbread, I have got tired of using the boxed uh, or bagged cornbread and so I was looking for something different. I was looking for something that was um, very authentic and complements well with uh, the types of food that we eat. Um, and I just looked through this recipe and I just thought it was fabulous. Alright, so uh, our cornbread recipe today that we're going to be reviewing is from uh, the website blessthismessplease.com uh, by Melissa Griffiths. So Melissa's website is actually really cool. It has uh, lots of recipes. It's also got information about her garden, her farm, her animals, crafts. It's a really great story about how um, her and her husband uh, moved from central to southern Utah. She has roots in Indiana. She uh, credits this recipe to her mother and the recipe really does have a lot of love in it. Um, I can kind of feel when you're making it, uh, it comes out the oven. It's a, it's a showstopper. You know, everybody in my family loves this recipe and you can tell, you know, that it was made with a lot of love and care. So, uh, there's something else about her website. You can find a lot of things on there. It's really helpful for me. And that was how to clean and re-season a cast iron skillet. I thought that was awesome. It was like right there. And here's my cast iron. It's a 10 inch cast iron skillet right here. And uh, it does need to be cleaned differently than other pots and pans. And it also needs to be seasoned. So anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and go over the ingredients for the recipe. Okay, so uh, cornbread recipes are usually very simple, and this one is as well. So let's just do a quick review of our ingredients. We're going to use one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of yellow cornmeal, two-thirds of a cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one-third cup of melted butter, one large egg, and one cup of milk. By uh, greasing a, uh, you can either use a nine inch round cake pan or a 10 inch cast iron skillet. Uh, so here's my skillet. And then you wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Uh, next, you're going to mix in all of your dry ingredients. Okay. Start with your flour, cornmeal, sugar, salt, baking powder, 
at this point, uh, I like to whisk all of this together. Until it's consistent all the way through. So it kind of changes color as all of the dry ingredients blend together. Alright, then I'm going to make a little bit of a hole right there. Then I'm going to, um, the butter is usually a little warm, right, because it needs to be melted. Uh, and then you've got cold ingredients, wet ingredients that are cold. So I'm going to start with the milk because it's cold. And I'm going to put the warm butter inside. And the warmness of the butter comes into contact with the coolness of the milk and the butter starts to cool down. And the reason why that's important is because when you mix in the egg, you don't want the egg cooking in the warm um, butter. So I'll mix this so it's well incorporated. You don't want to over mix. Keep a few lumps in there. Make sure you get all the sides. You do not want any dry ingredients sitting at the bottom. And then you can go ahead and get your egg in there. Again, <clears throat> you want to make sure you get the sides in the bottom. Two. Go ahead and pour the mixture, the batter, into the skillet. I like to use this flexible uh, rubber um, sort of cake um, spatula because it's really good at getting all of that batter out of there. You'd be surprised how much batter you lose in your recipes when you're not using one of these flexible rubber spatulas. Okay. Then <clears throat> I like to kind of jiggle it around a little bit, even everything out. Just like that. And Again, my mother, she always used to say, don't you waste nab bit. So I'm trying to get every little drip drop of that batter in there. And then do a little circle. And I like to put a little heart. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven. Uh, 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, so 20, 25 minutes, and there we go. So here's your cornbread. It's obviously really hot, and you want to um, let it cool down for a little bit. Uh, what a lot of people will do is they will uh, put a spread or butter on top of it. Some people like it dry. Um, I think today we're gonna actually um, put a little bit of spread. And if you're gonna put spread on or butter on the cornbread, it's better to do it as soon as it comes out of the oven. Uh, okay, so it'll melt and you'll have a nice golden sheen to your cornbread. You want just enough to 
kind of give it a nice shiny sheen to it. Um, of course, everybody has their own preference, you know. Um, but what some people will do is um, once they cut their slice, then they might want more. So they can always add more. I'm going to uh, cut it into eight pieces or eight slices. That it's so soft. Um, this recipe is is perfect for skillet cornbread. I can eat this stuff morning, noon, and night. Sometimes you might want a larger piece. <laughs> so, that. Yes, we have kids, little kids. So, they don't like those large pieces. You know, we have adults. They like, they do like larger pieces. Now, what I really like, again, about this recipe is that um, it is a homemade recipe um, passed down from Melissa's mom. Um, there's a lot of love and care that goes into this recipe. As you can see, um, it sits up really nice. It's very fluffy. Um, you can tell how, like, if you were to have this with a meal, it'll soak up whatever juices that you have with your meal, um, soups, um, just, uh, it's a really nice compliment not overbearing give it a little taste so get it in really good zoom in really good on that all right give it a taste mm -hmm. right off the bat you can tell immediately it has such a soft fluffy um, consistency to it Absolutely melts in the mouth. Give it a bite. Comes off clean on the fork. Those golden edges. This is just like you can just eat this by itself. And the um the milk and all the liquid ingredients. They're, um, they're well structured inside the cornbread. You leave it out for a little bit, come back, it's still soft. You can reheat it and you won't lose much of that softness, you know, in the microwave. You know, it's just that, it's just that tender, it's just that soft, it's just that fluffy. It just absolutely tastes wonderful. I was supposed to just taste this, but I think I'm just gonna finish it right now. <laughs> this is really, really good. Some, some, a lot of people don't look at the bottom. You can see right here how that, um, how the corn, how the corn has, um, just has this golden bottom, and the, it's the 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 sugar um, caramelizes between the iron skillet and the baking bread a cornbread and and this part right here is the sweetest part right here a lot of people don't know that and this edge um, it has just so much sweetness and sugar and butter um, it's just fabulous I'll take another one mm. Mm. It 
absolutely scrumptious. I wasn't supposed to eat that whole piece of cornbread, but I couldn't help myself. I'd like to go ahead and thank Melissa Griffiths for her contribution to the show. Um, thoroughly enjoyed cooking and preparing uh, the recipe. Um, it is definitely a fan favorite here at our house. Don't forget to visit her at her website, blessthismessplease.com. Uh, we put a link to her website in the description of this video. Thank you guys for visiting the channel. Uh, my name is Louis Gans III with Recipe Chronicles. Come back and visit us again very soon. And don't